Now let's look at this limit right here. If we substitute 0 for x, our denominator is equal to 0, right? So we know that this function has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. So if we draw a number line x, we have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. As x approaches the 0 from that hand side, let's pick a volume. Maybe x is negative 0 0.1. So if x is negative 0 0.1, 1 minus 1 over x squared is 1 minus 1 over negative 0 0.1 squared. So that's 1 minus, this is just 100, right? So that's negative 99. It's a negative, right? That means as x approaches 0 from left hand side, this function will decrease to negative infinity, right? What if x approaches 0 from right hand side? If x approaches 0 from right hand side, let's pick a value. Let's say x is positive 0 0.1. If x is positive 0 0.1, 1 minus 1 over x squared, the function value is equal to 1 over 0 0.1 squared. So this is 1 minus 100 again. So that's negative 99, right? That means as x approaches 0 from right hand side, the function will decrease to negative infinity, right? So both directions, as x approaches 0 from left hand side, the function approaches negative infinity and also as x approaches 0 from right hand side the function approaches negative infinity so we can conclude that this limit approaches negative infinity right